Hey everybody, my name is Jared Matthews, and I wanted to make a video response to the Are You Gay and Ugly video because I have explored these issues at great depth, and I have come up with some answers that will help anyone that may be struggling with these issues. It is my belief that because from birth the psyche is bombarded and pummeled with messages that you are innately freakish, innately unlovable, and that there is something wrong with you, that as you develop you hold on to that feeling of rejection. And it filters through the levels of consciousness and manifests in the physical reality as insecurity, inferiority, a fear that you will never be loved and you will always be rejected. It's not true. The media would like to believe it's true. The media and advertising companies depend upon manipulating the psychology of humans to make money, and it's wrong. And people are becoming educated to that, but that's still going to take some more time. Because even now, though we are in the media, collectively as a people, we're being manipulated with images of socially acceptable homosexuality. But I'm not going to get into that right now. What I am going to get into is the cure to insecurity. For me, there were two things that changed my life. The first one is affirmations. I started writing affirmations, and the most significant affirmation that I wrote was, I am divine and natural. And it's not just in saying it, it's understanding what that means. What that means is that you are sacred life. You were not created by accident. You are the embodiment of unconditional love. And you are the embodiment of everything pure and miraculous in this universe. And as such, your biology is not an accident. No one is created here to, to be attracted to something that doesn't want it. Attraction are, is two like energies being brought together by a mutual force. That force, you can call it sexual attraction, you can call it love, whatever. But the point is, if you are alive, you are sacred life. You are meant to be loved. No one lives and dies without falling in love. Everyone is loved. And there's nothing wrong with you. When you grow and mature, and spread your wings, you will learn to love yourself in a new way. You'll be more empowered and you will become more attractive. But that doesn't mean you're not lovable now. And the key, the thing that I cannot emphasize enough is to recognize that your biology is natural, your sexuality is natural, your attraction to a man, or if you're a lesbian, your attraction to a woman, is love. It's the wisdom of the universe. It is the essence of the universe, love. And you are not created to be rejected. You're created to be embraced. And um, the second thing that really helped me was I really truly fell in love with a man who truly loved me. Our relationship did not work out. But we did truly love each other, and he loved me for who I truly am. And that made me see that at the time, I wasn't the person that I am today. And he was able to see through all that. And he loved me as me anyway because he could see who I truly was. And that changed my life. I realized that I don't need to go to the gym. I don't need to masculinize myself, which is another issue in the gay community. Um, growing up, everyone thought I was a girl. People used to not believe me when I said I was a boy. I even worked as a girl for quite a while and was fired when they found out I was a boy. And I was beaten and terrorized, basically, to the point where I tried to be a man. And I did go to the gym and I did try to masculinize for acceptance. That's a mistake. Because what I am is a feminine being. And my biology is attracted to a masculine man. And I wouldn't be with a man that would be attracted to a masculine man. So if I look like one, I'm not doing anyone a service. The key is to love yourself as you are and recognize that you were created perfectly and you can spare yourself a lot of pain and a lot of work to undo the damage that you do by trying to be something that you're not. But I guess I'll stop now. I could go on. I could go on. Um, how cruel we are to each other, yes. People are running from their pain. 
and people are flip and arrogant and no one wants to take the time to be real with one another because we're all running from the pain. But that's true of the heterosexual community as well. Um, and the femininity, the femininity issue is a big issue. Um, I am not as beautiful as the man that made the Are You Gay and Ugly video is in the eyes of society and the gay community because he's more masculine than me. And, um, but that's a crock of shit because any man that would sleep with me would never sleep with him. You know what I mean? And so it's really, the point is that everybody is beautiful and everyone will attract what they truly want when they just be themselves. And I promise you that's the truth. I promise you that's the truth. I guess I'll stop now. Bye.